Iraq B uh, connection is to allow the time to be uh, received by the D400 uh, from an IRIC B uh, device that's sitting in the substation. Uh, so the IRIC B broadcasting device would receive the time signal from the satellite and then would broadcast it to the devices over an IRIC B uh, wire. The IRIC B wire would connect to the D400 either using BNC, TTL, or uh, fiber. So uh, there is other ways, of course, the D400 can get the time, either via simple network time protocol, SNTP, um, if you have other uh, devices that, uh, that needs to send the time, there is, a, there is probably other devices that is not accommodated by the D400, example, the HOF uh, device, where you would need a HOF to IRIC-B or HOF to SNTP converter. Um, the IRIC-B input card, which is this card, and this is the IRIC-B distribution card. So the IRIC-B distribution card would transmit uh, IRIC-B to other devices. The IRIC-B input card, which is the receiving card, have uh, three switches on it. So we have switch one here for the IRIC-B, and this switch basically controls whether the transmit uh, is in standard form or in test mode. So in standard form is as you see it here. Um, so like I said, pin 1 will be on, pin 2 will be off. So 1 away from the number, number 1, and 2 toward the number is off. So that's basically on, off, that's a standard mode. If we want to put it in test mode, we would set it for off, on. So pin 1 will be off, pin 2 will be on, which is the opposite of what you see here. Okay, so the next switch I'm going to talk about is switch number 2. For switch number 2, uh, basically we've got 1, 2, 3 switches on it. Uh, on is away from the number, right? So if I have the first one to be on, Basically, that means that the fiber connection is on. If number two is on, uh, then the TTL is on. If number three is on, then uh, the BNC connector is on. So let's say I want to set on the BNC connector instead of the fiber. This is how would we set it. Now, I am receiving communication via the BNC, not via the fiber connection. and this would allow it to receive it via the TTL, right? As we discussed, so I'll set it back to fiber. So that's it for switch number two. Switch number three uh, basically controls whether we are inverted or uh, normal. So if this is received, this is transmit, this would be the setup. So pin number one will be the on position or to where the number, pin number two will be the off position or away from the number. If we want this to be the transmit, this will be the receive or the inverse of what is uh, the norm on this card, uh, then switch number one will be to the off position, switch number two will be to the on position.